Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. This video will be my main reason why I'm not Oriental Orthodox. Um, in the future, I'm going to be making a top ten reason, uh, top ten reasons why I'm not Oriental Orthodox. So, so what's my main reason why I'm not Oriental Orthodox? Well. From what I have listened to from people who are Oriental Orthodox and some of the arguments, it seems to be that the the argument is um, is centered on Saint Cyril, uh, which they believe he was a, a Miaphysite. For those who don't know, there's Diophysitism in, in Miaphysitism. Miaphysitism acknowledges that Christ has two natures, both human and divine, but rather than them being separate, for they are one. One, but distinct. Uh, diaphysitism is that same belief, but we separate the two. So the human nature is separated from the divine nature, but there's still one, but it's separate. That's not what Miaphysites believe in. So they believe that Saint Cyril was a a Miaphysite. They also believe that the Fourth Ecumenical Council, that being Chalcedon, um, departed from apostolic faith. So the position of the Oriental Orthodox is that the church um, started to apostatize um, at Chalcedon. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure they were the first schismatics, if I'm not mistaken. So why am I not a Miaphysite or a um, Oriental Orthodox? Well, because the whole argument is predicated on one saint and on one council, and they don't have enough proof to even provide any shred of evidence that Miaphysitism is apostolic. Because one thing that all of us have to understand here is while the church was developing, cultivating uh, in the first 1,000 years, we had a lot of saints, both East and West, that did not have sound theology, okay? But just because those saints didn't have sound theology does not mean that they were uh, heretics or evil, that the church was still trying to sort things out, still trying to grow. Like, um, there was no ecumenical council for 300-some years. You know, and then, you know, we got the Council of Nicaea, right? So the church took time to, to, to grow, to develop. Um, the problem with, from what I've seen, the problem with Oriental Orthodoxy is that the argument is, is centered around St. Cyril and the Fourth Ecumenical Council. They... They, they they like to um, they like to go down the route of a grammatical argument, which means that uh, they nitpick languages. Oh no, words! I'm sorry, not languages, but they nitpick certain words, and then they try to twist them a lot, like the Eastern Orthodox. But the Oriental Orthodox is far worse than Eastern Orthodoxy. Uh, the thing with Eastern Orthodoxy is. Some like you can actually read an a Eastern Orthodox interpretation on a few things in the first millennium. You can't do that through the lens of Oriental Orthodoxy because the Orientals believe that the church apostatized during Chalcedon. The fact that the whole faith is centered around one saint, not even Christ. And I, yeah, and I know some well, a lot will come at me and say I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong. Because you nitpick certain words, and then you you point to Saint Cyril, you point to Chalcedon on how the Church departed um, at the, um, within the Fourth Ecumenical Council, and how Miaphysitism is apostolic. Although you can't even prove that, a lot of saints back then did not have sound theology. <laughs> okay, a a anyone who who knows even just a little bit about early church history can tell you that, yeah, not all saints were um, 
were sound theologically, but that doesn't mean that they were evil people. My problem is that they hinge their arguments on one saint and then they nitpick a council that doesn't even show any um, indicators that um, that meophysitism was the apostolic mindset prior to this council. In fact, again, I'm, I'm just speaking from what I've read. From what I've read, I have not seen any evidence of meophysite theology for the first like four to five hundred years of the church. And again, Saint Cyril was not a meophysite, but they take certain words, they twist it, and then they make it sound like he was a, a, a meophysite. If your whole argument is predicated on one dude and on one council, and no one else taught it, that's a problem. So that's my main problem with Oriental Orthodoxy and why I'm not um, Oriental Orthodox. I don't find any of the arguments compelling. I can understand why some people convert to Eastern Orthodoxy because you can read um, an Eastern Orthodox lens into certain um, events within the Church of the First Millennium and look at it through the lens of Eastern Orthodoxy. Uh, some of it, not all of it. But you can't do that as an Oriental Orthodox. They don't have a lens, except all of us Catholics and Eastern Orthodox apostatized, excuse me, at Chalcedon. That's all they have. That's not an argument. You need to show multiple early church fathers that believe this and authoritatively taught. Because if the church was in fact, well, like Oriental Orthodoxy, they were uh, Miaphysites. Then, then you should be able to provide proof of meophysitism in the church in overwhelming numbers. Can you show any council prior to Chalcedon, or can you show any synod or any uh, any um, authoritative teaching, not just uh, you know from the Holy See, but from the church itself that taught meophysite theology? If you can prove that, then Oriental Orthodoxy is correct. But they can't do that. And, and, and again, I challenge all of um, Oriental Orthodox Christians. Provide me that proof. Show me declarations and authoritative teaching from Rome, from synods, from ecumenical councils. You can't provide that because it doesn't exist. Because the early church was not Miaphysites. And I don't see any evidence of Miaphysitism. This icon that I'm holding here is my patron saint that I chose when I was brought, in, when I was brought in, into the uh, Holy Roman Church. This is Saint Ignatius of Antioch. I have read his writings, not all of them, but I would say most of them. I don't see any evidence of a meophysitism, and he was the earliest of all the church fathers. Not just that, the church published the Didache, which, if I'm not mistaken, was in 40 AD, and it was the very first thing that the church as a collective um, authoritatively taught and like published. Nowhere in there do you see any... Um, dogmatic um, teaching of, on meophysitism. You definitely don't see that with St. Ignatius of Antioch in his writings. And he was the earliest church he was the earliest church father. So again, if you, that's why I'm not a meophysite because there's no proof of it. He, he was the earliest church father. And even if we were to go uh before St. Ignatius, you still don't see any authoritative teaching on meophysitism. For me to become Oriental Orthodox, I would have to deny 
church teaching for the past 2,000 years, both East and West. And collectively speaking, both East and West has never taught Miaphysite theology. So that is my number one reason on why I'm not Oriental Orthodox. The, I, I don't find any of the arguments compelling. I just don't. St. Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Ave Maria.